Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to draw Burning Godzilla from 2019. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eyes and actually we're going to start just above them. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down, goes over a little bit and then kind of curves back up like this. That's just going to be kind of like where his eyebrows are. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of curves like this for one eye. And then a little line right here that curves for another eye. Now starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes down on each side. And then I'm just going to kind of draw a little line that just kind of goes down a little bit farther. And then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves around here. Then right here, I'm going to draw two curved lines for his nose. Then right on around here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down and then come right down to here. And then same thing on this side. And then I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of follows this shape right here for his mouth. Now right here, I'm just going to make kind of like a little U shape for his chin. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to go up and then kind of come up for his jaw. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then starting right here, you want to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up and in. Same thing over here, leaving a little bit of space. And then I'm just going to kind of continue this line up to here. And then I'm just going to kind of draw a big kind of curved line at the top. And then just connect these little lines here. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a little diagonal line down here and then a diagonal line down here. And then I'm just going to kind of curve these two lines in just to make his neck. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that kind of curves out and down. Same thing over here, and these are just going to be his shoulders. Then right here, I'm going to draw this line in a little bit and then come out. Do the same thing here, just kind of go in and then out a little bit. Then right here, I'm just going to draw this line down. And the same thing right here. And then right here, we're going to kind of form his hand. So I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve like this. I'm going to draw another one right here that just kind of curves down. Little line, and then I'm going to draw another curved line back here for his thumb. Then I'll draw a little line back here for that other finger. And then I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve to here. And then it's just going to kind of curve up to here. Then right here I'm just going to draw a line, it's just going to kind of curve down, come back up. One more right here. And then one right here. Little line that just kind of curves right around here. 
bring this up to here. And then we'll draw a nice big curved line right here for his arm. Now, starting right over here, you just want to draw a little line in, just to kind of show where his body is on each side. It's just going to come in a little bit. And then it's just going to kind of go back out real quick. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of go down, and then it's going to curve in. Same thing here. Line's going to go down, and then kind of curve in. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down and then come back for one of his toes. Then I'm going to draw another line that just kind of curves down, comes back up. One more right here. And then I'm going to have a really big one right here. Then for the foot on this side, kind of the same thing. Draw a low line that curves down and then comes back. Then one more right here. Another one. This one kind of points in a little bit. And then finally that really big one just kind of goes down and curves back up. Then I'm just going to draw his leg. It's just going to kind of come straight up to here. And kind of same thing here. It's a little bit of a curve. And then I'm going to just kind of curve this up and this one and then kind of curve them right to here. And then I'm going to start right back here. And I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. And then I'm just going to kind of curve this up to here. And it's going to come up like this for his tail. And then I'm just going to keep it thin and kind of skinny at the end. And then just get it bigger and bigger as it comes back towards the body. Okay, now we got our basic shape. Now what we need to do is we need to add some of the details. So I'm going to draw a few of his spikes on the back. So I'm just going to put a couple little kind of pointy spikes on each side. We'll do some different numbers on each side. Then I'm going to draw a couple little bigger spikes right over here on each side of them. Now, since we have the tail kind of coming back here, I'm going to draw just a few more little spikes, just some kind of like these different little pattern kind of crown shapes going all the way down his tail. And they're just going to get smaller and smaller as they get farther down. Okay, so now for some of the details. So, on his face, some things we can do is I'm going to add kind of like a little broken line kind of around here for like his lips. Then I'm going to do kind of the same thing on the bottom. Draw some pointy teeth on the top. And then you can put in a few at the bottom. Draw a couple of curved lines underneath his eyes. And then just kind of like a couple of little lines just right around here. Put a few kind of broken lines kind of right around his face here. And then just a couple little curved lines around here. Add some extra little lines around his chin. I'm going to put these big kind of curved lines on here. These are kind of like where his gills are so that he can breathe underwater. 
And then I'm just going to kind of add almost like a little V shape kind of going down. Then right down here, I'm just going to draw a line. This is going to kind of go make a little shape kind of like this on each side. Just, you just go down, over, and then up. Then I'm leaving a little bit of space on these. So I'm going to draw a line that goes over, kind of down, around, and back up. These are some of these like really big scale patterns that he has on his stomach. Almost kind of looks like abs. I'm going to draw another one. Just kind of like we'll draw two little lines down. And then we'll just kind of draw a line that goes over and then down. Kind of comes back up here. Almost kind of like a little shield shape. Then I'm just going to add some extra little kind of curved lines around here on the arms. Kind of some up here on the shoulders. He's got some of these like really kind of crazy scale patterns. So I'm just kind of making some different little lines. Like kind of little squiggly shapes that have lots of little spaces in between them. And this is going to help us when we color because we're going to have to add in all those little lines for where he's kind of like building up his fire. So I'm just going to kind of throw some of these around here. Do the same thing on this side. Just some kind of crazy little shape patterns with lots of different lines and stuff in between them. Almost kind of like giraffe spots a little bit. I'm just going to add, kind of add some smaller ones around here, making it a little bit tinier as they go in. Add some extra little lines around here. Then I'm just going to kind of add some little lines right around here as well. Some little lines kind of going right around his neck. Add some little curved lines on here as well. And then just some more lines that are just kind of going down. Some little curved lines right around his arms. And then just some more around here to kind of make it look like he's got little these some more big scales, kind of like different plates and everything. I'm gonna put just some different lines right around the edges of all these little scales on his chest and stomach. And then I'm going to add some curved lines onto the tips of all his fingers for the claws. And then I'm just going to put some more little lines around here. Some more on his hands, some more right around his arms. Put some more of these kind of scale patterns around here. Then on his legs, I'm going to add some of those claw patterns down here first. And just some extra little lines on his toes. I want to put some more wrinkle lines kind of right around the top of all these toes. And then I'm going to make just some little kind of long broken lines that just kind of go right or right up the leg. They're kind of almost following the shape of each of these legs. And then I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to make these next broken lines kind of go across. And then I'm just going to kind of curve them around as I go around the leg. So if you look, they just kind of start going straight across with a slight curve. And as I get higher up, I'm going to make the curve greater and greater. That just kind of is a fast way just to do some little scales. Then you just kind of add some extra little details in here. Extra little lines. Then I'm just going to start making some kind of long, broken, kind of curved lines. Do they just go right down the tail? And I'm going to continue these. I'm not going to have them go all the way up the tail, just kind of more towards the bottom part. And I'm just going to kind of curve these up like this. And then I'm just going to kind of make some lines going down. 
And then I'm going to put a few more little broken lines at the top. And I'm just going to make some of these curved lines up here. This just kind of helps make it look like his tail is kind of like a rounded shape. And then I might throw a couple more broken lines down here. And then some up here as well. Some more little lines on his hands. And then up here on the head, he needs some little broken lines kind of going around the whole top of his head. A couple going down here as well. And then you can even add like a little bit of some small bumps on top because he does have texture on his head and some different little spikes. And there you go. There is your drawing of the Burning Godzilla 2019. Now, I do apologize. This leg is a little bit shorter and it's kind of driving me crazy right now. But, you know, that's the problem when you draw in permanent marker. So make sure when you guys are drawing this, you kind of bring this leg down a little bit. But there you go. There is your drawing. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.